The pool table, a perfect example. All you need to do is sink more balls than the next bloke. That's pretty easy, isn't it? But there are some very basic do's and don'ts. First, you want to aim for the right ball. No, nope, not the left one. Then you're just after the right angle. Oh, come on, that wasn't it, was it? And finally, please do try and stick to the rules. Come on. Yeah, very good, but you're supposed to keep one foot on the ground. <laughs> so how about we give you a shortcut to success that could improve your chances of doing just that? Meet three-time European pool champion, Rico Dix. Yes, he's quite good. Actually, OK, make that very good. Rico will be trying two approaches to the break. Same man, same cue, same table. The only difference will be his technique. First, he'll attempt 15 breaks, aiming for the lead ball here. Let's see how we go. Aiming for the first ball is the instinctive method. But will it lead to more pots? 15 breaks, eight balls potted. Now, Rico will realign the white ball and attempt 15 breaks, aiming for the second row. Right there, see it? After 10 breaks, we've equaled the first technique on eight balls potted. One more pot, and we've got a clear winner. There we go, and that's it. In the end, aiming for the second row ball resulted in a total of 10 balls potted in 15 breaks. With our demo, this technique had a 26% better potting rate overall. So our shortcut to success is to aim for a second row ball. And the reason that works is down to momentum. As the white ball hits the rack, its momentum is transferred through all the other balls. So there's only a fraction of it driving each ball along its path. By aiming for the second row ball rather than the lead ball, Momentum transfers in such a way that the far corner ball is more likely to line up with the far corner pocket and also receives a bigger share of the momentum to take it there. To hit that second row in the sweet spot, your best bet is to position the white ball as close to the cushion as possible. That's the theory in an animation. When he hits the lead ball, you can see the corner balls travel at too steep an angle only occasionally finding a pocket. But when hitting a second row ball, momentum steers the corner balls closer towards the corner pockets. So if you want to win in pool, when it comes to the break, don't just go for the first ball you see.